All right, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the first of maybe at least two, maybe even three videos that I'm going to do on this topic. Um, how to effectively change textures and mod your own FIFA boots. Um, I've never been able to find a video like this. Uh, I know there's some really talented artists out there who work on these uh, sort of things, but it's been a while and I haven't been able to find a tutorial, so I thought I'd do one. I'm by no means an expert in Photoshop or indeed in Blender, um, but this is how I do it. I'm sure that there are better ways or uh, more functional ways, so if um, you've got any advice, please let me know. I'm always looking to learn. So that being said, um, in order to mod FIFA boots, you are going to need a Frosty Editor in order to import and export the files. Uh, you are also going to need Photoshop or a variation of Photoshop like paint.net. And finally, you're certainly going to need Blender and use the stencil option, which I will go through with you probably in another video. So with that being said, let's focus a bit more on the texture map. So what we're looking at at the moment is a 24 by 24 uh, image map for a Nike Mercurial uh, Superfly boot from FIFA 20. So this is, uh, the way we extract that is um, you would export the FBX file from Frosty. Uh, then you can open it up in Blender, which I'll show you in another video, and you can copy the image into Photoshop. So what we have here on the image file is you've got the left boot here, and then you've got the right boot here, and then you've got the sole, the sole. Uh, you've got some studs in the bottom right hand and the bottom, uh, top left corner. You've got laces here and here, and then you have just here and just here uh, the tips of the laces. And then finally, these two bits here and here are uh, back tabs um, from the heel. Um, it can look a little confusing because obviously we don't have anything to go over this. Um, so what I did was, this is what I did earlier. Um, just kept the opacity at 50% just to show you where it all kind of fits. So here we can see this is where the heel would be. Um, you can see that this is where the laces would go across. Um, but effectively from a top down angle, that's the top of the shoe. Um, Interestingly, the, the hardest part that I find is that if you look, just scroll, uh, zoom in here a little bit, if you look at these points here, that's the, uh, what appears to be the edge of the boot, but it's actually a wrap. So that bit there connects to this bit here. So you've obviously got fly net that's written across here, and then you've got the end bit of the swoosh connecting to this bit. It's actually quite difficult to try and line these up on Photoshop with accuracy and if you don't do that then when you come to put it onto your uh, model you'll find that there's a bit of a disconnect and it's not quite aligned properly and it just looks rubbish and you get frustrated. Uh, it's also worth noting that uh, these vertical vertical points here um, is where the um, the wrap ends, however, I tend to go a little outside the lines just to be sure that um, we're, we're totally covered and there won't be any gaps in the model. But the most important thing is that you've got these two bits aligned and I'll show you in my Blender video on how to do that. So let's say we wanted to edit this slightly. So let's go to 100% um, and zoom out a little bit. Let's say we wanted to edit this um, and see what it would look like. So what I'd do is I'd use a lot of reference images from the internet, it makes your life a lot easier rather than just drawing everything freehand. Um, I would take an image like this. Um, PNG images are brilliant because they obviously don't have a background and you can control A, control C, then go in here. And this is gonna be huge, I think, but control V, yeah. So you can quite see it's just way out of proportion. So if you hit Control T and then right click inside this image here, you get the options to free transform or uh, scale. So 
hit scale and then control and then from the bottom right hand you can just scale it in there and then control plus control minus to zoom in and out so let's say we just for argument's sake want to put it there enter right so that's on there fine great so what do we do with this so at that point we would just uh save as and the most important thing is obviously if you're working on this in layers you want to keep uh photoshop um file the psd um saved but you also want to save it as a dot png so we'll save this at just call it 1000 for the sake of argument uh and what I'll do is on my next video, I'm going to show you where this will connect to Blender and what we can do uh, in order to make the uh, stencils align properly. But for now, um, we will just end it there.